Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Splatoon 3. Now that we've cleaned up the second or third area, we can now clean up a lot more of the third area. Third area? Fourth area. I'm so confused at this point. And then we can do some more levels as well. We definitely get a lot of extra uh, power eggs from cleaning up the extra weapon types in each level. Which is very nice. Another food ticket. Got it right that time. How much is this one? 600? I like to jump when I throw the little buddy. It's very satisfying. I don't know why. It's such a small difference, but it makes such a big difference. Ah, uh, and there was a big clump over here somewhere, I think. Yeah, it's over there, but I can also clear out the rest of this as well at the same time. Again, I wish I could just throw the little buddy a lot faster than this. It's so satisfying, but it could be so much more satisfying. Another decoration. I guess it would probably be too much for the game to handle. Like, clearing out all this group in multiple places all at once. Is that reaching? Nope, apparently not. Uh, I might jump over here to find out where that is. Okay, let's hit that. It turns green when you're aiming at it correctly. So there we go, that's a whole area there. Now I'm sure little buddy will find some secret somewhere, right? 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 No? Maybe not. Well, that's fine. Um, there's a secret over there, apparently. I don't know how I missed that, since there's nothing else over here. Like, there's nothing else. Surely there's something somewhere. Green. I can kind of walk off the edge of the ship. So I can look around a little bit more. Fill in more of the map, get a better idea of where the center is. Although it looks like it's just here, so... And nobody isn't finding it, so... Oh, hang on. There's a little ring here. But nope, it's over here, apparently. Okay. More fish eggs. And that's all the secrets down here. There's just more over here somewhere. That I'm missing. I would assume it has something to do with this. So let's clean that up. Nothing. Platform. Just platform, apparently. Because we got the secret that was down there. I think it's up here though. Yeah, somewhere up here. Or maybe down there. That's probably the group. It's probably the group. Uh, excuse you, go in the group. Well, that's not what I expected, but okay. Ha, 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 I can't, okay. I need to actually jump out like that. Be able to reach high enough. Okay, so it's not that group, apparently. But it is behind me as far as I can tell. Although I think it might not be in the middle of the circle of green. It might just be somewhere within that green area. So it's probably this then. Nope. This is a rail though, which takes us over here. So what am I missing? What am I missing? Little buddy, find it. Do it, little buddy. Please, do something. It's a fairly vast area. It could be down low. Or it could be more over this way. I can- I, I can see the green. So where- where is it? It's not in there. And nobody isn't finding it, so that's concerning. This area is not green over here. Okay, keep that in mind. For going over this way. Because there's that there, but it doesn't seem to lead anywhere. That is important. It's not there. Why are you going, little buddy? There's this spot here. Which doesn't seem to have anything else. Also, I see the balloon is coming this way. I think. No, it's going away. Okay. Could even be down here. 
Where's the secret? Where is it? I'm looking like for circles on the ground or something. Come on, little buddy. You, you can do it. I believe in you. You've shown me secrets so many times. Little buddy? He's just looking out to sea. <laughs> Not paying any attention to me. Come on, where... Where secret? There it is. Why I shot there so many times because that's where I thought it was and I didn't find it. This is sad. Anyway, let's go to another kettle. While I'm still losing my mind. Let's put a pin in that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Stay in your lane and reach the goal. Take the hero gear. And let's see what this is all about. Okay. It's got the bowling ball things. Lane, out, lane after lane of octobolers. Oh, and they turn at the turning points. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder if I can... No. Okay. So little buddy can't do anything about them. Unless I actually hit their weak spot. I assume. Yeah, that, that worked. It's not extremely helpful, but it's something I can do. Just go. Just go. And be extra careful of where they are. And where they will be. Oh, hey, I've got one. You can see where they go because of the group that they leave behind. Nothing there. Nothing down there. What do you know? We spare a moment. Let's catch... Okay, it's gone already. I felt like I was keeping up with that one, but nope. Okay, we can take these out. Also, they actually have, like, movement lines. They don't actually just... They're not knocking against the walls to turn, they're just turning. Because they don't- they, they weren't doing that before. They haven't done this before. But we can, however, do that. Very nice, that was super satisfying. Because usually they just go in a straight line, but now they apparently turn. I thought it was just gonna be them bumping off of things, but nope, they just turn now. Okay. Need to group where I'm standing more. Let's grab that. And go... to the end. We made it! Good close one, we're running out of bowling... jokes. Puns, that's one. Okay, very nice. I feel like this is a good mix of story mode and Oct expansion because it uses the the unused points so well how much is this one 2,000 let's do that which is just probably an easier way up although there might be a secret although little buddy's not helping so I guess not I just have to repeatedly shoot where you could, where a secret could be. I think the secret that's over here, though, actually, there's a few things. There's something down here. Hello. Oh, I don't have enough for that. But there is a secret over this way, apparently. Right there. I'm somehow very low on points right now. I mean, I did just spend a lot, but still. Also, there's some more points we can get over here, so let's go do that. Also, I'm calling them points now. More power eggs. Very nice. How is there so many things I still have yet to hit? Um, okay. Also, I want to go check the balloon that's up here. Since we can do that now, probably. It's going a fair way away now. 
Come on, go, 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 go. Nice. Hit that one and that one. Oh, where are you going? All the way over this way. Okay, go, 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 go. Like that. Like that. Please don't... Please don't need me to get rid of the group. There it goes. I need 600 to do that. That's such a shame I made it that far. Okay. Let's go to the next level then. We need more powered eggs. Spl splash the block party. Reach the goal using soaker blocks. Splushomatic, I guess. We have a little buddy for this, which is interesting, because usually when you do a weapon that's not the hero gear, you just have a different sub-weapon. But I guess they knew how useful little buddy is for... ...these blocks. Maybe Agent 3 could use a refresher. Shoot the place of the blocks and they'll more, more will pop out. I know, it's crazy. It's like I played the other level. I guess they might not have... Might, you don't have to do every level. Why does it have to be so far? Use small fry in this case. Also, make sure it's on, not on the surface that he has to actually be attached to, I guess. Because if he's if he's on the wrong, wrong spot, he'll just fall off as soon as it, the first block goes out. Okay. There's a bunch of Octarians on the other side of the soaker block. Oh boy, I guess there is. Can't let them hit the block, otherwise it'll stop working. Why can't I hit you? How far away are you? How big are you? Actually is the real question. Okay. Grab all this. And go. This weapon is very interesting. It doesn't... Sp like, it spreads a lot more than I thought it would. Okay, making jumps now. Cool. Oh, it wants me to do a thing. Hang on. There we go. Sweet jump! It wasn't really that sweet, but anyway. So we got that. That's just going that way. I'm gonna go back this way, though. Strong weapon, though. Little buddy is so helpful for this level. Okay, let's activate that one. Octo Commander, dead ahead. How did I miss? We made it this far. Keep the circle blocks. Using little buddy. Okay, little buddy's fine for now. Okay, little buddy. Throw it that. This is a fight for my life. Okay, good. Now let's get rid of you. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. Sound very awesome. You have to say it right. It's the, it's the way that you say awesome that makes it sound awesome. Well, there we go. More points. Fi fi fish eggs. Power eggs. Let's activate this now and see if I can do the rest of this. Oh, it's a gusher. Interesting. Just gonna paint some more of this area. And let's go. Oh, I probably should have been up there, not down here. But where is a caveman? Please, nope. Well, that didn't work. Also, balloon. Oh, I missed it. It's going that way. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. This is a better position to be in. I think I'm going to be a little bit faster on these balloons this time since I've covered more ground in ink. 
and know where the balloon is going as well. Oh, it's all wet there, okay. Could have got that one, but I'm probably going to come back for it anyway. Okay, that one. And that one, which we can actually use the gush to pre-activate. Okay. Up, up, up. Hit that one, and last one. There we go. Sea scroll number 15. Mana ward wardrobe. We are temporarily closed, so that we may restock. Cash only. No photography or influences allowed, ever. We've run rather low on paper bills. We're always open. Your fashion energy em emergency is our fashion emergency. <laughs> cool. Do not touch it in until you have paid for it. That's a general rule that you should just have, just in general, even if you aren't. The shop, you're just the person shopping. Um, still need more of those. Anyway, uh, I want to check the other stuff because I have a little bit more to spend. Not enough though for everything, unfortunately. But I might be able to find the last few secrets, maybe. Decoration. Okay, how are we doing on the map? We're still missing a secret, which is underneath the group somewhere. Okay, well, let's uh, go to the next level then. I'm using a bemused muse. Aim carefully and copy the template. The template. Which way, which way does that sound better? I think template sounds better. Well, this is going to be fun. Zipcaster, Zipcaster. Hang on. Oh, it's a that's a brand. Squeezer, sloshing machine, or splat charger. Well, let's do this one. This one doesn't really matter. Just need to be careful not to break the wrong ones. I assume is what's happening here. This this is like the Octo expansion stuff. Thank you for a cut a copy. What's on the left? Oh, so that's really cool. You can use the Zipcaster to get to those platforms. Oh. It's because it, it's not a brand, it's actually just a power-up. Cool. We're stuck here if you mess this up. Okay. There's no messing up art, but do be careful, Agent 3. So we can only break some of the blocks. Not all of them. If we get it wrong, we have to restart, I'm assuming. Make sure you use the cursor to con so you can see what stuff is going to be hit and what's not. Going to get closer to this. I think that's good. I can't tell if I need to do anything about the eyes. Because it's got a special block there. I'm assuming not then. Oh, that look part that part looks complicated. Art takes time, even if you're copying, don't rush it. Okay, need to go around this block here. Oh, it, it has the eyes already, cool. Um, and then that's out of line with this. Okay, so we just need to get rid of all of these, I think. It's good that we have precision tools for this level. Gonna go to the other side as well. Quickly. Since we just did this side, we should know what the other side looks like somewhat. Let me just get a better position so I can see what the other one looks like. Exactly. It's like two blocks in. Let's find the eye. Because that's going to make it a lot easier to figure out where the rest is. I'm just tapping the button to shoot because it's going to be a lot more precise. Okay, I don't think we want that there. Like that. And as for the tail, we can get rid of that one there. Except I think that's actually... No, that is in line. Okay. We can get rid of the rose above. Okay, now the, this bit's going to be interesting. Uh, we can get rid of that there. And we're swinging on the same on the other side. And then... The edges. The level above it. Then edges. The level above it. And then... That one there, that one there. I might want to get up to a higher level to figure out what's next. Okay. So that one stays there. That one's gone, and that one's gone, and... 
Good, cool. Anton, behold. Want to take a cl close look at the masterpiece? Just hit the road. Or just hit the road, I don't know. I'm gonna grab these fish eggs that are just up here. I don't know what I can really do with the different weapons that would be different. Don't forget to admire your handiwork. We have seen that somewhere, that somewhere, right? Orca. <laughs> hmm. Sus. Also, what is that in the background? That looks cool. Why is there stuff in the background that looks so cool? This place looks awesome. Look at that sky. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. I haven't admired the background as much as I should. I forgot that we had the special. Just, to, I'm... It's too precise to use it. It's too precise. Don't use it. Don't use it. It's fine. Anyway. Let's go get that other secret. Since this is the last thing that needs to be done, I think. I can also get this balloon if it comes close enough. There we go. Nice. 100 fish eggs. And now let's just hit this. Okay, and get whatever's underneath it. Ah, uh, decoration. And that should be all the secrets in this area. Cool. And now I think I'm going to probably do the extra weapons. Since there are a few. Nautilus 47. Charges up for a little bit and it's very strong. Medium range. But it's so strong and also... Uh, it does consume a fair bit of ink though is the other thing. Because you want, you want to keep your ink a little bit. So don't go too crazy with this weapon. Yep, that's pretty good. As long as you keep an eye on your ink, you should be good. You can also hold your charge when you're in ink, as long as you do it quickly. It's only for a very short amount of time. Even little taps of its power is just pretty good. New time. Gootuba. Fairly long charge up time. But it feels strong. And seems to have a somewhat good range. Not as long as you'd hope for it to be. But it can hit multiple enemies with quite a lot of power. But it does also use a lot of ink to do so. You can kind of tap it and it works just fine, actually. But you probably want, want to be in close combat with somebody else. Takes a while to take out a shield if you're charging like this, though. I'd definitely say this is a good weapon to have. But you have to really get good at using it. And knowing when to charge, I guess. <laughs> Nice. Using a slosher for this. I think it's a good idea to use your sub weapon to distract these, quite possibly. This is an interesting weapon to have against these Octohoppers since they have the high ground most of the time. So it's difficult to have the high ground on them. But if you can just hit them directly, it's pretty good. And it's very good for inking walls. It actually feels like these Octohoppers have a similar weapon to a Slosher. At their disposal. Dark Tetra Dooleys with an Autobomb. Probably an instant classic with pretty good range. And obviously it's Dooleys so you have Dodge Roll. It's just good all around. Autobombs is probably going to be a good idea to have against the Octohoppers as well. Although, close range doesn't seem to be going that well for me right now, but that might be because I'm bad. It feels kind of more loose, I guess. 
less restricted, but also more precise needed. If you play your cards right, you can probably do a very good job. Obviously, obviously good for covering ground as well. It's nice to have the high ground for this. Oh boy. Need to dodge from more. Nice. That was a good dodge roll timing. Classic Squiffer. I think I've already talked about this one before, but this seems like an interesting level to put it in, since it's got good, like, travel distance when you use it. It's also fairly strong if you want to take out the Octoballers as well. I think this is the weapon I actually struggled with in that other level with the... What's it called? The boxes that we needed to break. Ow, they are strong if they roll on you. It's very nice for hitting things in the distance, like the balloon that was back there. And obviously you can use it sub-weapon a little bit more than I've been using it. Sub-weapons are kind of a second thought for me. Octobrush. This one's a bit more of an interesting one. It doesn't cover as much ground as you're walking on, but it is quite strong from what I can tell. It covers a lot more ground when just waving in front of you. Seems to also use up a lot more ink, is the other thing. Depending on how you use it. And it's a very short range, apparently, as well. And here we can spare our breath for a moment. Why are there so many puns in this game? I don't feel like there's been that many puns in the previous games. Am I wrong about that? I don't know. Also, the short range is really getting to me now. With these enemies here. Of course, we can also use the splat bomb to be a bit more effective against things. Now let's split. How did I miss that? Probably because the text went away too fast. But there we go. Try Stinger. St try Stringer. This could be an interesting combination of things because the shots that explode will about activate these soaker blocks a little bit more after you've already shot them. Just need to make sure that the curse in the middle has a little bit charged up. It's just a shame that there aren't any sub weapon for this in this level. Because sub weapon is kind of what you need for this level. Really? I I grabbed it. <laughs> Maybe I didn't have it all the way out. Because that seems to be the thing I'm struggling with, yeah. Pretty sure that wasn't all the way out. Much it should have been. Same with that one, actually. That's one problem I'm having right now, with not having little buddy for this. Is it just is less likely to have them all the way out, even if you have the little ex extra explosions. Well, this is good for breaking crates. That was cool. Got to switch blocks. I don't know how I got a new record with that. I was doing so bad. It's probably because I wasn't spending that much time inking the ground. Sloshing machine. I don't even know how this is going to work. Other than very carefully. Oh, that doesn't actually do as much damage as I thought it would. This could work. Maybe, if I'm careful. Also, this kind of actually works a lot better than I thought with the sloshing machine. It kind of does a single shot that works just fine. Except it does use ink a fair bit, from what I can tell. Ugh. 
again, make sure you can see the cursor light up. I somehow didn't die. Also, it does kind of spread out, but it usually spreads out before it reaches something. So you kind of just have to make sure it's targeting something to make sure it's not going to just make a mess of everything. Just got to jump across carefully. And there we go. Cool. Also, I completely forgot I just have this and I can just jump around all over the place and be fine. So that's useful. Especially because I can do it to the end. New record. I didn't spend as much time walking around and wondering what I had to do. Splat Charger. Nice, that was good. That was really good. Good time too. Okay, I've also cleared out the map for here, I'm pretty sure. So let's head back to Site 1 and see what we get. Which is probably, you know, another stick for this area, but you know. Need to go get it. Very nice. And with that, I think that's everything in that area for the moment. So that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.